what going back to when you, you know obviously you you've had polio you've not been able to walk yeah what what's i know you've had your struggles your challenges I, yeah. i'd love you to tell us right from the beginning what what has been the the lowest moments do you know to for you to to show people that it's not always been amazing giving up your full-time job to be a paralympian oh, yes. you know yeah. really to tell people why how you've got to where you are yeah so um disability basically changes lives like drastically so mm-hmm. one moment you you're able but and then you know due to war or accident or something your life takes a completely different turn and for me because it happened at such a very young age the change was very gradual um, and as i got older a lot of insecurities basically sort of showing themselves and my for me as a, as a child i struggled you know you don't think about this but people with disabilities especially physical like mine I had a lot of body, uh, body issues, body image issues. Mm. When you have, you know, where your legs are not the size as every other average normal person's legs, you kind of, you know, find, you know, going to swimming pools in the public swimming pools and, and, and you know, going to, I, I learned to swim at a very late age because of that, as far as I was concerned, I, I didn't want to, to show my body in public places. I had, um, I used to wear, uh, shorts and put tracksuit on top of that and I, I put jeans on top of the tracksuit just so I can have that volume and stuff like that I remember um, uh, growing up as being huge insecurities for me yeah. and when I think back now every aspect of my life was basically governed by you know a lot of insecurities to do with a disability from what sort of job would I be able to do in the future yeah. you know um, I remember I wanted to be, you know, a doctor. That was my my thing. But I don't think I really wanted to be a doctor. It just, you know, as an African, you get, basically have a few options: a dot, a doctor, teacher, lawyer. <laughs> we don't get any further from those or no ones, really. And I couldn't choose any of those. I couldn't be a teacher because I had to carry, you know, things around. Yeah. With cases around and so on. So and crutches, I wouldn't be able to to do that easily. I couldn't be a doctor because I had to go from one patient to the next and I had to run if a patient needed me urgently. And I, I just kept analyzing these things and I, I just, all I could see were limitations everywhere uh, that I, I looked. And I remember speaking with one of, my, uh, you know, one of my teachers at college. This is when I moved from Nigeria to England uh, with my family. I, I was 14 years old at this point. Yeah. And I, I remember speaking to uh, one of the teachers saying to him that I, I'm not sure that I can actually fit into this society because there's nothing I can do. I'm, I'm studying, I'm doing all these things. I'm studying IT, business and history. But realistically, what can I really do? And, and then he basically inspired me and told me about his son who works for IBM and is a computer programmer. And you don't need to actually do much else but sit down and tap into a computer you've got your brain you could actually you could do so much more and he also corrected a lot of my misconceptions you know so there are lots of disabled doctors out there um my preconception that you need to be so physical might not be 100 percent true so just by speaking and you know saying these things out kind of helped reshape uh, my mind around how things really are in, in, in society. But deep down as a child, I was always kind of um, out there. So I've been active regardless of my disability. Yeah. Um, I'll be the goalkeeper. Um, if I can't play the football, I'll be the guy at the goalkeeper. Yeah. And they'll, they'll let me use my crutches. So I will extend my crutches to catch the ball. And it was okay for them because I couldn't jump off. <laughs> I love your technique already. It's like, right, we can, and I think this is what's really just while you're talking and I'm, I'm listening. Mm-hmm. It's interesting how where you're coming from that you thought there was only a certain way you could go, and you were putting all these limitations on. 